Hey there everybody, I'm Sumi Hongas here, back with another tutorial. And recently I've gotten into old digicams and cameras, but unfortunately they spit out this ancient file format known as AVI. The logistics don't matter, but if I take a look and try to drag it into a program like DaVinci, it won't take it in. And I'm gonna show you how to convert it very, very quickly. The software that I'm gonna be using is called Permute, and I'm gonna leave the link down below, but it's software.charliemonroe.net. There is a seven day free trial, which you can use unlimited amount of times, and what I used when I was trying to put this into DaVinci. Open up the program once you've downloaded it, then you're gonna drag and drop whatever file. In this case, it's this one. And for me, I believe it's working now. It previously gave me a yellow box error, but because I have the software now, it plays it automatically. So if you look to the right right here, there are multiple ways to convert it into, but the one that we're gonna aim for is just a standard MP4. Then we're gonna click hit and convert, and then it'll show up right here. That'll work for one at a time, but you really don't wanna waste time converting these. So you drag all the ones that you want at the same time and then click this bottom start button and then all of them should show up uh, in the same place that your original AVI files were in. Now if you take a look at DaVinci and we bring in the files, the MP4s, then they should be able to be dragged onto the timeline and playable. That wraps up the tutorial. I know that there are other open source free options like the LC, I think, the little cone. But what I found with that was that they were very time consuming and the user interface was pretty clunky. And I think that the seven day free trial is pretty fair if you just plan on doing a bunch of tapes at once. But if you do plan on getting into the Digicam game, then I think $15 is a pretty fair price point for a piece of software like this. Plus it can do other things, but I really, really like it. So let me know your thoughts down below. And if it was helpful, leave a thumbs up and a comment. And I would love it if you would check out the Canon PowerShot SD 11,000 IS review. At the end of the day, thanks so much for your time and your attention. My name is Aspi Hongos and I'll catch you in the next one.